be Father Mapo. He used to be a harpooner. Good morning, shipmates. Good morning. God has prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. Book of Jonah. First chapter, last verse. God called upon Jonah to cry out against wickedness. But instead, Jonah fled from his command. Why? Why did Jonah willfully disobey God? Because he thought it was too hard. Too hard, why all the things that God would have us do are hard. Hence he commands more often than he tries to persuade. He knows that if we obey God, we disobey ourselves. That is hard. Hard because we cannot flee from his command, as Jonah tried to do. Hard because God is everywhere. There is no hope of escaping him. Now, imagine poor Jonah skulking, prowling about the ships at Joppa like a vile burglar, and he bargains a passage Hurrying to cross the seas, he thinks that a ship made by men will carry him to countries where God does not reign. <laughs> now the time of tide has come. The ship casts off her lines, sets away across the great wide ocean. But the sea rebels. It will not bear its wicked burden. A dreadful storm comes on. The wind shrieks and howls. Wave upon wave leaps into the ship, roaring fore and aft, fore and aft, until the ship is like to break. Terror upon terror runs through the souls of the men. They mark the stranger, suspicious of the god fugitive from the moment he came aboard. They now blame him for the great tempest that is upon them. And now, now behold Jonah, seized upon like an anchor and cast forth into the sea. And God awaits him, comes upon him in a mighty wail, clamps all his ivory teeth about him, and swallows him whole into the belly of hell, and dives 10,000 fathoms down to living gulfs of doom. And there, Far beyond the reach of any earthly sound, Jonah cries out his repentance. Not by begging for deliverance, no. No, but by praising God for his just punishment. And the Lord speaks to the great fish, and from the shudder and cold and blackness of the deep, the whale lifts his great head and comes breaching up toward the warm sun and all the delights of earth and air. And vomits Jonah upon the dry land. And ever after, Jonah preached the truth in the face of falsehood. Woe to him whose good name is more to him than goodness. But, oh, shipmates, 
shipmates, delight a far, far inward and upward delight is to him who against the proud captains and commodores of this earth stands forth his own inexorable self.